coming up in this episode of the Tempsey Show. First prediction so, is they will off, not call it Sonic off, Rangers. <laughs> oh, first yep. prediction is they will. F you, they will. <laughs> first prediction is they will. They're calling it Sonic Rangers. I think Forces is better than it Generations because monkey. of that reason. Forces had more than it than Generations like could dream of. Like it had a character creation. Oh my! It had main <laughs> and classic and the Avatar. I hate my life. <laughs> it's just this is this. These comics are, fill me with joy all the time. Uh, like I have an entire stack of the trade. Oh my right god! He's actually leaving. <laughs> <laughs> Well, we're back again with another episode of this, and I managed to line up more fools, <coughs> I mean special guests, <laughs> to discuss our favorite blue hedgehog with. Starting off, the biggest L taker in the world, the man himself, Games Cage for Dell. Hello, it's Bobbin, it's your boy, the Games Cage, that's right, I'm alive, I made it, I don't know what I made it through, but I made it. And I'm here. Also joining us, the leader of the Gossamer Nation and the maker of a very funky game called Scratchy Melody. Give it up for my boy LJ. True. We also got the number one source of Sonic news. The funniest oh raccoon on this planet. Hemsy, so <laughs> you're the so The Sonic based. Show. I know. Oh my god. I can't, Hemsie, I can't thank help you it. Thank you so much. No so worries, much. man. Thank you. I can't help it. <laughs> and then we just got Expo. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> you don't really Expo, need you probably, you the You've probably one. done more collabs than all of us. <laughs> like, you're in <laughs> yeah, everyone's streams. <laughs> you're in Tails' channel, yeah. you're in Speed Super Sonic, you're in everyone's content, dude. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so we've got a list of topics that we are going to talk about. Tom Let's topics. start off. Yes, Tom Topics. Let's start off with the Sonic Movie 2. Trailer predictions. Go. Alright, alright. Uh, December 31st. Um, Tails is Tom Holland, uh, Knuckles makes a do you know the way joke, uh, and, uh, Jim Carrey does a funny dance again. These are true, these are all true <laughs> things. I can see this. Yes. I can see this, this is a possibility. I, I would literally cry if Tom Holland is Tails, I just can't see that. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. No, we know, we know who voices Tails. <laughs> I I'm hope, pretty sure I it's just, the same voice. I just feel like, I don't know. Everything's been really quiet about it, and mm. I feel like this is the calm before the storm that they announced they replaced Tails with a celebrity. I do feel like they might do that, actually. I think you're right. I think you're right, LJ. <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> Colleen did say that she was going to be voicing Tails in the games from now on. I remember yeah, seeing it. Yeah, she that also did have a little fit. Yeah, she had a little fit on Twitter. It, it she could be that, like, she's not happy, I think. I think you're totally right, LJ. I think we're this is the calm before the storm. People are so happy about Idris Elba. The second they announce Tails, it's just gonna be yeah, it's swarms gonna go to shit. of hate. It's oh. <laughs> yeah, I feel chaos. Like would imagine like immediately, immediately, immediately right after we're done streaming, Brad Favre tweets out, "I gotta fly high." Oh no, <laughs> oh, <laughs> Brad Favre. <laughs> <Tails. laughs> that reminds Danny me of the DeVito. Mario movie, actually. Oh, <laughs> the Mario movie. <laughs> It's a be a Mario. A Mario. <laughs> I'm so I like I don't even like Illumination, and I'm hyped for the Mario movie just to hear Hell Seth yeah. Rogen. Like Seth Rogen's so gonna be like, oh, don't <laughs> so <laughs> Mario, stay away from my bananas. Woo! My, my whole thing is just like is like I, Illumination. At the end of the day, I don't like I don't care about minions, but like they make pretty movies. So if the Mushroom Kingdom and shit's gonna look gorgeous, yeah, and stuff, that's I'll, I'm all that. That's why I'm man. excited. I have a well, bit of a uh, guilty Jane, what would you say you're predicting like for the Sonic Movie 2 trailer? What, what am I predicting? Mm. What else oh, is I it? was just saying I have a bit of a guilty pleasure for Illumination stuff, unless it's something I care oh, about yeah, immensely. Mm. Mm. That's, that's a little... That's the true. only thing I would say that the guilty pleasure is, is like Secret Life of Pets isn't bad. It should be, but it's like not bad. But everything else, like Minions, I'm just like, man... I wish I was blind. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't know, like the movie, like for for Sonic movie too. I mean, obviously, like, I assume we'll get a trailer in like a month or two. I think it's just gonna be like you know we'll, we'll see Sonic, we'll see, we'll, we'll definitely have more tails in there than we will Knuckles. I feel like Knuckles will be like the end of the trailer, like he pops up, he makes like a joke or something. Um, knock knock is Knuckles. Knock knock is Knuckles. Yes, <laughs> yes, he knows. Um, 
But I, I think, man, I'm, I'm just excited because I just genuinely feel like that first one was had no right being as good as it was. So to have this one with just more budget, more animations, more just more more of that world and everything, I think it's going to be like a really that trailer is going to be really fun the day it drops as opposed to like the first time we had a trailer drop for Sonic Movie and we were all just depressed. And it's really funny too because usually we've had a history of like video game movies being dog shit. Yeah. yeah so yeah. to have the Sonic movie, every, everyone would like just gave up hope on that and to have that be one of the best get video game movies, that's just pure irony. Yeah, I love that. LJ, what would you say you're expecting for Sonic the Hedgehog 2? I mean, I feel like, I feel like it's going to be really good, of course. But, this isn't negative by the way, I know I made it sound like it's about to be negative, but I'm the kind of person where when I hear tiny little tidbits, I start end up to predict the whole movie, so I hope I'm not predicting correctly. So, <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna say oh, right off the bat, I feel like Eggman's gonna run into Knuckles on Mushroom Hill, he's gonna convince him to take him back to Earth because he says there's a chaos emote there. And then Sonic is, and then Sonic and Tails are gonna be messing around, and Tom is gonna call Sonic on FaceTime or something while Sonic's fighting a giant robot or something. Why do I see this happen? <laughs> that was really I, specific. I that went from like, <laughs> that went from really vague no, to really hold specific. Hold on, hold on, this really man just quick. has the script <laughs> for about the this. second movie. If Sonic, he has the if script. Sonic FaceTimes Tom, all right? Does he have an? Would, would you say that he has an iPhone or an Android? It'll probably yes, be I don't phone. know. Whoever it's gets, whoever, because it'll be like the blue text the bubbles. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the blue text. No, <laughs> like the, the, the blue text. Whoa, the blue Samsung S twenty one Plus Ultra. Whoa, the <laughs> pictures I can take on this Samsung are crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, if if Sonic if Sonic were to like have that phone, Google Pixel or iPhone thirteen, which one's he gonna have? And it's what's gonna he gonna promote about it? Guaranteed. <laughs> It depends what co company secures the deal first, but it's most likely yeah. gonna be an iPhone. He did have a phone deal in, I think, South Korea for the movie. Oh, for, yeah, for that's movie. right. <laughs> yeah, I remember. I mean, Apple the gives me Mario vibes, bro. I don't know. I don't feel it. I mean, they literally have a Mario game, it's true. Oh, so true. So true. They have Mario Run exclusive. They also have a Sonic exclusive game, though, too. Oh, shit. Oh, no. <laughs> the war. It all goes back. Hmm. But I feel hmm. like with the what's it called hmm, with the movie, yeah, I just I think Whoa. I think yeah, I mean we I think uh, we found out recently, yeah, it was Paramount. Uh, they had an event and they said people saw footage of it and they just said it's equally, it's just equally as funny. It's basically what you're gonna expect oh, in a yeah. and I'm excited. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it's gonna be good shit. All right, dope, dope. <laughs> Next topic, IDW comics. What do you think about those? Like the Wonderful. characterization. They are listen. Uh, <laughs> all right. The IDW comics are like the um. best form of Sonic stories since 2009, oh. and like that—that that is like, it's, I am so happy. These these comics are fill me with joy all the time. Uh, like I have an entire stack of the trades right here. Oh my <laughs> god, he's actually <laughs> leaving to get them. Up, you, I, I'm, I'm currently holding Volume Two in my hand right now. Uh, this is like the one with the least amount of uh, Sega mandate nonsense. Uh, so it's clearly the superior one, um, mm -hmm. uh, but like Sh Shadow, Shadow still hates everyone. So uh, I don't, I don't know about that one. But uh, like, sh like you have like Tracy Yardley's incredible. I don't art. like the you way got, like, they Ian did my Flynn. boy Shadow. Yeah, the way the way that Shadow leaps off of rooftops and flips to face the camera is full of the exaggerated swagger of a black hedgehog. Why would you go <laughs> that? Ooh. And that's like that's. Ooh. <laughs> Yeah, but like it, not in the positive, not in the positive way, in the negative way, where he's like, "Howard Ross, oh I days, win." Derogatory. Like, I, I win. Game. I game. <laughs> like, I'm a gamer. I like to imagine if Shadow was a gamer, he'd like. No, I like to imagine IDW Shadow would be a redditor, and like, and like he just makes fun of people who use TikTok and like play Fortnite. <laughs> that does sound in character, that really does. <laughs> you fool. Like, like Shadow, Shadow like looks at Sonic's phone, he's just going through TikTok, and he's like, Ew, you use TikTok? You use TikTok. Why don't you play the superior That's Minecraft? Cringe. Minecraft. <laughs> <laughs> oh. But like, but the, no, the, the comics are something I just Fortnite. never... The comics are just something I never, like, 
delved into. Like, I, I read a few. Like, I have Please. some because just, like, the, the art looks good. But, like, I just never... I've never dug into that world. I just... I'm, I just have... I've never grew... I never grew up with comic books in general. So, like, even the Sonic ones, like, were very foreign to me as, like, a thing to, to dive into. Understandable. But, like... I'm um, with Fidel. IDW... IDW stuff is, like... Mm. Um, it's like, um, except for, well, no, not except for, uh, I mean, like, uh, it's not like Archie in the way that it's like completely separate from the games. It like takes place immediately after forces and like a lot of stuff is completely game canon. Like, Archie so, was freaking weird, man. Archie was weird, man. Like, <laughs> uh, I don't, Archie. I don't know if we can, I don't know if I can talk about this without it being cut, but like Ken Pender. I think that's why, like, adventure games, like, people like them because it's, it's like, a good, story-wise, because it's a good mix of, like, okay, there's, like, an actual story going on, but the whole thing is very silly and yeah. cartoony, you know? Whereas, like, something like Sonic Forces, like, it takes itself way too seriously, so it ends up being, like, weird, you know? Or something like Sonic 06, right? Like, when they take themselves way too seriously for what they are, that's when it gets, like, a little weird. When there's, like, no, like happy or joy or like fun moments throughout the the story that's like the balance you gotta have with it. it's like there's no there's no like animated like cg like cartoon disney movies that are just all serious the whole time it's because like there's sprinkles of like moments of character moments and all that stuff yeah like it's like they've only been doing the essential scenes to carry the story along barely at mm. that and then they don't do anything else in between i i really like idw it's the only problem I have with it is the format because I'm so bad at reading. Yes, <laughs> I, so like, I feel you. So, like, when you say like format, do you mean like how it's all like um like not? Like it's monthly. It's random. Monthly. Well, okay. So what I would recommend doing is like uh, just like get the the graphic novel trades as they come out because like those are the best ways to experience the comics because like I don't think these do well from like mm. uh from just monthly issues like they do way better as graphic novels they already have uh up to the metal virus done in uh graphic novel form so you can like find them in a bookstore you don't even need to find a comic store so like like you can just look there and like they're global so it's not like american only or european only so no matter how you like get your milk from the store you can you can get an arch uh, an idw comic so i just uh I just say what the internet's done to me, cause like I I'll have like notifs on for like Tails channel, and it'll be like oh. Sonic IDW <laughs> latest comic imposter syndrome, and I'm like, I, I, I hate what the internet has done. Ding 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 ding. Yeah, no, I, I, I'm, like, I hate the internet, bro. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to I'm trying to stay spoiler free for all that, so that way like whenever they come out as graphic novels, I won't right. be spoiled. It's like it's so hard though, cause I follow Tails channel, and like they always retweet. Like the IDW Sonic right. new stuff, and it's like it's like, all right, guys, guess what? <laughs> Sonic dies in Volume Forty. Sonic dies in Volume Forty One. <laughs> here's the artwork for it. Another <laughs> reason to follow the Sonic <laughs> show. Here's I don't tweet. I don't care about IDW. I don't give a shit about gets IDW. Infected. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> yeah, but like, like uh, you can get them digitally too. Like I would also recommend that. If you right. don't, because like I know, like Fidel, you like getting all your stuff digitally, so you can just like get, yeah, um, you can just get them on like iBooks or something. Mm. I think, I think it's like twelve bucks for like each of the volumes. I think. Okay, okay, that's good. That's good. But, like, dude, dude, the Metal Virus arc is wild. Like, you just it's, if you skip if you skip number eighteen and nineteen in the issue numbers, then you'll be all good. It, it'll be literally great. Because, like, 18 and 19 are the issues where Shadow Ghost, Cowards Run, I win. So we don't talk about that. <laughs> I win. I win. I win. That would be the person I Minor spelling mistake. I win. Minor spelling mistakes. I win. I win. Minor spelling mistakes. I win. I win. Classic. <laughs> that, that's, an abs that's an absolute classic right there, yeah. Yeah. But like just on, classic. On the yeah, they're great. You, you should all check them out. Yeah, Lit. they're okay. But like they're okay. It, like they're this is okay. really about like the characterizations. Is there like a specific reasoning like behind that? Is it just Shadow, or is it like the latest cover or the latest like uh, pictures that came out for number forty-five? I believe. So like I know people were complaining about like Whisper, 
going I got back. no clue. Like I said, I'm foreign to the to anything of the Okay, I'll try comics. to explain it as best as I can. So, uh, you know, like, the two new characters, uh, Tangle and Whisper, correct? Yes, I've, I've heard yeah. of them, yeah. So, um, they had, like, a, a mini-series where they both went on, like, on a, an adventure to, uh, like, um, like, uh, put, uh, like, Whisper's old, like, rogue friend behind bars who, like, worked with mm -hmm. Eggman. And, uh, like, she learns to open up to people, uh, okay. and that, mm -hmm. it's, like, a really wholesome story. But, like, in the latest issue, they have um, her, like, her being a liability towards everyone again. And, like, her trying to stay away from people. But, like, the thing is, that was only just the preview. And, like, the full story might be, uh, like, explaining a lot of things on why she's uh, considering herself a liability again. Right. So we don't know exactly why uh, she's back to that again. But it, it could be because, like, Evan Stanley's the new writer now. And, like, she's, uh... She's like not. She's newer to the comics, I guess. Or it's just like an entirely context thing. Or Sega just told them to go back. <laughs> <laughs> that or dude. just or just said that Tangle and Whisper the comic wasn't canon. <laughs> Sega mandates. Sega, <laughs> Sega mandates now affect IDW. A uh, whisper must be a liability. <laughs> Tails must be useless. Tails Tails must be useless. Oh, <laughs> useless. <laughs> useless like Wendy's. All right, next topic. Oh, whoa. Did, wait, Tim, we can't move past that. Expo, what the? What did you just say? What did you just <laughs> I, say? I said, what, what, you, what, you, what, what did you say? What did you say? Like, Wendy's. You, you're Wendy's oh. shit talking <laughs> Wendy's now? Now we're shit talking <laughs> Wendy's? Wendy? Oh, Wendy's not. Better. That's how I was trying. That's how I thought it was dude, oh. going on, too. I thought yeah. it was going on. Wendy's, that's a joke. I almost got. I almost got. Got. I didn't Yo, even know. I, I did, did get you. You did get caught. Yeah, Expo, you better stop there before Wendy's comes after you on Twitter. <laughs> oh, no, Wendy's dude, has dude, like the I best fries, be bro. Funny. Wendy's is based anyway, in Redfield. Let's move on. Yeah. Yeah, let's move on. Oh, man. <laughs> Don't go anywhere, folks. We'll be right back after these messages. Is this thing on? Guys, I need your help. At the time of recording this, it's November. And as you may or may not know, we are on a road to 10k. And we are so close. We are so close. Final stretch, guys. We have to reach 10k before the end of the year. We have to do it. We have to do it. We have to do it. Oh, you're not convinced? On our channel, we've got reviews, we've got podcasts, we've got let's plays, we've got live streams that go horribly wrong. Just top notch quality content but that's not all if we reach 10k before the end of this year i will be doing a full-on live stream of the goal the one and only sonic unleashed xbox version or playstation version i don't know i'll play the entire game in one live stream if i have to emulate it or buy a freaking xbox series s just to play it and live stream it for you guys i will do it don't test me i will do it i'll find a way so you guys know what needs to be done. Subscribe to the channel and support your boy. I'm on it. Go, go, Sonic Rangers. Predictions, go. Right. right. First prediction so, is they will off, not call it off, Sonic Rangers. <laughs> oh, first I mean, prediction is they like will. You, Fuck yeah. you, they will. <laughs> I, first prediction I, is they I, will. I, They're calling it Sonic Rangers. A prediction they call it Sonic Rangers. I, I, I don't like the name Forces, you know? Yeah, I don't like the name Forces either. Like, literally anything in Forces. <laughs> just because you don't like the name doesn't mean Sega's going to change it. Like, you know, we all said Forces <laughs> were bad, and they said, you know what? We're going like, to force you to keep this name. What does Rangers mean? Like, like each Someone Sonic name means things. Or Sonic unleashed, an area. He's unleashed his darker self. Generations, he's keeping up with himself. Okay, but we don't know what Rangers is even about yet. For all we know, there's actual Rangers. Yeah, you don't know. Rangers? And before Sonic just becomes a Rangers. No, Rangers means the same thing as, like, Rangers could mean the same thing as Forces. Like, it's just, like, you're just ganging up on, like, Robotnik Forces, like... I don't know. I'm with Fidel. Forces is, like, military. Rangers, we don't know what it is. It could There could be, like, Rangers in the game. Like... Rescue Can Rangers or Park Rangers, Rangers or Yogi Yo, Bear. Oh, we get to meet Chippendale. <laughs> Park Rangers. <laughs> Chippendale, we all. Yeah, 
yeah. I know like, when everyone says huh? ranger, they think like a park ranger, but the definition of ranger other than that is someone who wanders or explores an area. So, yeah. I'm oh, getting oh, perfect. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, and it could be game. open world, so oh. that would actually make sense. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. You know what, I'm just gonna say it. I'll contradict things. My first thing, it is called Sonic Rangers. That is my oh, prediction. Yeah. Oh, I like yeah. it, I like it. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> but like, um, it's like, obviously we all know it's probably gonna be open world and like, uh, <clears throat> uh <laughs> that's, that's really all we know besides like the spin cycle. I feel like it's probably gonna be very button mashy. It's gonna spin be like cycle. an open world, like, like a uh, Warriors game, but not in the good way. Like, in the very button mashy way, where you just feel like you're not doing mm. anything except just like pressing X. Because, I mean, that's what Sonic's all about. Press X, you win. Whenever someone says spin cycle, I can't help but think of a washing machine. A washing machine? <laughs> How is that <laughs> not coming not, to my no, mind you know until what? now? The spin cycle, they changed the spin cycle to where, like, you just, Sonic just throws a washing machine. And just, like, no, he just, he grabs an enemy, like, plucks them in a washing machine, and they just, like, combust. <laughs> he just he just says, kids, don't be like them. Stay out of Washington. Like <laughs> okay, don't so for like Rangers, them, I think because I don't know if you saw the one confirmed leak, but it said like the game was a little rough and, and butt mashy, like Expo said. Right. But I yeah. think that's just your perspective because a lot of non Sonic fans who are into like FPSs and stuff will play any Sonic game and be like, oh, repetitive, butt mashy. But. From what I've read, from what it sounds like, if you're a Sonic fan, it'll be fine. Like, you just, like, tap A to the homing attack. Like, it's fine. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's totally fine. Yeah, like, like if know. you watch someone's controller while they're playing Sonic 2, they literally just press A over and over and over again. That's literally... Well, yeah, because the, that's, a, that's a retro game. You don't have a lot of inputs. We are in 2021. In 2021, think... what <laughs> makes someone a criminal? One button. I mean, like, the oh, thing is, right, like, at the end of the day, <laughs> at the end of the day, even if it's, if it's open world, like, it's going to be a platformer. So it's going to be more, like, I don't care. Like, obviously, I'll fight the little robots I see and do those little fights. Like, at the end of the day, the, the most interesting moments are going to be, like, you know, speeding through these these vast areas, you know, like, and seeing what kind of cool platforming challenges they have. Because that's way more interesting to me and, and, and obviously Sonic games than, like, when I get to the little robots, I just press A to kill them. Yeah. Totally yeah. agree. So as long as they have like cool areas that like use that open world in a cool way, like have the loops everywhere, you know, have some just uh, just thing, uh, things that are placed higher up and you have to figure out, okay, like run on this wall, jump on this other one, go through this, like to figure out what to do. Like, I think that's going to be really so interesting. So basically, I think what you just described yeah. is Breath of the Wild plus Mario Odyssey yeah. plus Sonic. There you go. There you and go. That is literally just Sonic Rangers. That's, That's the dream. Should be okay. honest, so I, have, I have evolved from my state where I must say that Sonic Rangers should be like Utopia. It should, maybe. I don't know. But I like after like the whole Ranger thing happened, I saw this game called Solar Ash, and like that game oh, yeah, yeah. is yeah is like it's a PlayStation exclusive open world momentum based game, and that is literally what I've wanted from a Sonic game for years, and like. It was supposed to come out next week, but it was delayed to uh, December, and uh, I've never had such an emotional 180 in my life. So, like, <laughs> they have, um, it's like, you have a very fast combat system that's, that doesn't take up too much time, and like, mm. it's a full open world game, that's, and like, you've got your speed, you've got your momentum stuff, you've got like a homing attack type ability, and like, uh, it's made by the developers of Hyper Light Drifter, if you uh, know that indie game. Yeah. And, like, the publisher, the publisher also, like, uh, published Outer Wilds and 12 Minutes, and I hear those are really good. So, if their reputation is anything to go by, this is probably going to be my favorite. Oh, yeah, speaking of publishers, do you think Sonic Team is going to be behind it? You know, the usual suspects. We, we literally just say? saw the Sonic Team logo in the trailer, uh, Tamsu. Oh. Yeah, it's the side team logo's in the trailer. Did you, did you not I watch forgot. the trailer? I forgot! <laughs> Fake you fan. Forgot. Get him out of here. <laughs> Sonic fan, yo. Fake fan. Well, I've been exposed. I am a fake Sonic fan. Yeah, you really <laughs> Sonic team will be behind it, but I'm gonna predict it's probably gonna be a really different Sonic team because so much has shifted ever since. So much has shifted. Yeah. Um, so many I think you're right, LJ. Sega, and it's just, yeah. It's Thanks, not gonna be boom. the usual suspects. I think it's going to be very Western because, like, Takashi moved to America, 
well, no, everything is in there. Did already say in a interview that it's developed in Japan? But I mean, like, the style. Like, it's open world. I, I think it's half... I don't think it is. I'm pretty sure he said it was mostly developed in America, actually. But I don't know. No, no, I remember... I can't like, pull it off my head. Come on, head. guys. I, I you be, know not to that. trust shit Izuka says in these articles, man. That is true. He did, like, contradict himself like yesterday. A very different Sonic experience. Very brand new, brand new exp I mean, he wasn't wrong. Brand we, new. we can make a character. We can make our own character. Whoa, we can make, your we can make own furry brand new now. Wow. That is true. Pretty lit. Pretty lit. You could make, like, a monkey and a chicken. That was pretty cool. I think Forces are better than it Generations because monkey. of that reason. Forces had more than it than Generations, like, could dream of. Like, it had a character creation, oh my it had days. main <laughs> and classic, and the avatar. I my life. <laughs> it's just <laughs> a better game. This guy still thinks um, Forces is better than Gens. Yeah, we, we had this conversation. We've had this conversation you actually? several times. I, yeah. <laughs> he prefers, he prefers <laughs> Forces over Gens. Is this a real Gen. thing? You uh, tried pulling this <laughs> shit when I was live streaming. I, I've had enough. <laughs> it's true! This generation's so no, garbage! It's the only- No, what? This literally has like two new areas. And like, that's- that's it! That's it! Wait, wait, like, wait two new areas inside from generations. They never two new areas from generations. generations. Not garbage. And that's Hold the only up. defense! You, you, you just say you can make a character, and it's, it's got new stages! That's your only defense! <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's not the same stages over and over. It has better music. Like, I d d granted, I'm not gonna defend Better the Forza music. soundtrack. Wait, 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 let me say wait, it. Let me, finish. let me say it, Fish. Forza soundtrack is absolutely garbage, but that's Generations cat. is worse. Be well, no, that's no, cat. No, 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 good. First of all, wait, what? That's first a of all, take. sorry. First of all, sorry, Forza. I, I like the music. It's good. Second I like of all, Infinite uh, Steam, that's it. Well, Fidel, that's really it. Fidel, listen, uh, you're you're oh. the biggest L taker out of all of us, so we. Well, oh. I cannot take your, uh, <laughs> hey. Oh. <laughs> yes, yeah, Sonic. Sonic. I'm on your side. Down. Generations is great. What the hell? I've never heard someone wait, say wait, like no, Generations no, no, I, never, I never said that all your opinions were invalid. I was just saying ah. you said the Forza soundtrack was good. Uh, Here's yeah. why. I could say it. I'm going to get good. shit on. I'm going to get poo pooed on. So I'll just say it. Listen, Generations. It did everything the same. Forces added new. And then the music in Generations was like the same music, but they made it worse. Like, I don't know. No, they didn't. <laughs> no. The modern where remixes the are drift? better. Tell me Jada. one song where the modern where remix is, the is better. Drift? Ooh, the drift uh, is awful, uh, bro. City. I don't Crisis, like the drift. I can't do it. Cri uh, I can't do it. No. I'll say it. I can't drift. You can't even boost through <laughs> Metropolis City without falling off. Yeah. What kind of improvement is that? Where is the drift? The drift isn't necessary. They designed the level oh, so you don't need to drift. Really you exactly. literally the, fall the, the off. The stages are so linear. It's like Halo really? 3. Where's the sprint? They piece. didn't need sprint. The game was good without it. That's like saying, <laughs> oh, Mar it's, all good. it's okay that Mario doesn't have a jump. They designed the levels around it. Like, yeah. Yeah. It's jump. exactly like that. Yeah. In Mario right Kart, now. Mario's Whoa. whole thing is jump man. In Mario Kart, he doesn't jump because he's in a fucking car. It's not necessary. Yeah, it's a car racer. <laughs> oh well, it's a car God. racer. These are different genres. He's not drifting. He's not in Tokyo. This is like... This isn't Tokyo here's Drift. He's going through Sonic levels, you know? He's no, going from A to B. I... I like I like this is coming from someone who likes force. I like force. I've said this before. People Oh me and Dell are on the same that. page. Yeah, I, I like Sonic Force. I think it's a good game. Like a genuine just like from I'm like I had a good time. Ow, it's not okay. it does I, nothing. I've been I've been wanting to ask you this question for a long time. Uh, How? How can you say that Sonic Forces is a good game? I don't My that. my thing with it is that I don't think it's anything better than good. It's and it, but it's not bad. Because to me, like a bad game is like I know it's something that's just like broken. It just it's genuinely awful. It's like I fully you're just agree. like okay. Like it's okay. just People it's, it's good. Like it's it, too it, much flack. I yeah, mean, like, yeah that, it's the, disappointing, but it's a good game. I think that's the big standards. thing. That's yeah, that's the thing. It's I think what people hone in about with forces is that it's it's disappointing and it doesn't do anything like that. Any is special. You know, like, because aside, if you take that element out, you just play it as a game, like, just start to finish, like, okay, it's a good game, like, the platforming is good, like, the music's objective, like, it's chill, like, level design is, oh, is good, it's like, it's not like anything is, I don't think anything is great, I don't think anything is bad, the, the game's not broken, like, I think the game, overall, as you go through, like, okay, 
That was a good time. Obviously, a lot of people I mean, feel like, otherwise. But the game doesn't have to be broken to be bad. Because again, Valen Wonderworld no. exists, and that game is awful. And like, but yeah, they can't say awful. why it's yeah, bad. Game Everyone broken. just keeps saying it it's bad. No one says why. Why is Forces so like, bad? Why, like, why no is one it says bad? why. Sonic Sonic controls like he's just a missile, and you can barely control him. The Avatar feels like a fine. soap dish. Okay, the like, Avatar is awful. I'll give you that. Whenever I play classic Sonic, classic Sonic, I agree is worse. Classic, classic Sonic, Sonic yeah, I they, feel they like they I'm controlling. Classic Sonic. When I play Classic Sonic, I feel like I'm opening the settings in the Wii U. Like I, <laughs> no. Yeah, I will. I will agree. Like, all of kind of like, the yeah. <laughs> All of the stages feel like so disgustingly linear to where I can just like bl I. I played the game like one <laughs> I can time, just hear blindfolded. Your pain. I played the first level blindfolded, didn't get hit once. Like. I, I, I don't You're so I, flustered. I, I it. It's really funny. I get it. <laughs> no, I get it. I do get it. Like, listen, I, I think here's the thing. Forces, like like you said, it didn't do anything new because you already had generations. But I think if you swap those release dates and generations came out after and forces came out, that was like the new game. I think people would be like, wow, forces, amazing. Generations, doggy poo poo. I think it's just the way. Yeah, I like, disagree they just because like because like also like people love nostalgia, right? Like people no matter what. <laughs> Would have loved seeing all these classic stages back, seeing old ones be put in 3D. Like I, I think no matter what, Sonic Generations would be a win because you're you're giving people like the past mixed with the new, and people like that. You know what I mean? And felt like that was okay. That felt like a celebration game. It was an anniversary game. Um, whereas again, like with Force, it's just like even like Generations doesn't even try to tell a story. It's really just like okay, you free your buddies, but you're just going through missions in these old things. And it just feels nice. It feels good. Whereas, like, yeah, with forces, like, people, like, the, the story is just whatever. Like, the, the OC thing is just, okay, like, it's fine. But I, I could have lived without it. The classic yeah. uh, uh, stages feel worse. I, I, I think it's different. It. I think, yeah, I think Generations would stand on its own no matter what. Just because it's, like, it's a polished experience. And it also, like, holds a, like, nostalgia with bringing back all the the old stages. And that, in, that game in was rushed. Style. If that's a rushed Sonic game... What happens with the fully developed Sonic game? Right. <laughs> what happens there? <laughs> Which I think this is. Dude, that's not the, But that's why I'm really excited for Sonic Rangers, because, like, we literally have not had a new Sonic in, like, next year will be five years without a new you know, mainline Sonic. That's the same thing that happened yeah. with Lost World. We didn't have a game for a good four years, and then we were like, oh, Forces won't be rushed. <laughs> yeah, Isn't that the same thing with Forces, too? Like, there was just a that's really just It's almost yeah, like it yeah, keeps happening. Crazy. It's almost like it's some yeah. sort of cycle. <laughs> cycle? I don't know. The <laughs> Sonic cycle. I'm telling you. Mm. I keep telling people the Sonic cycle is real. But they're all in denial. They're like, no. No, there's no such thing as a Sonic cycle. You're an idiot. <laughs> Who said well, the thing this? is, if you... <laughs> Who is saying this? Exists? Who's saying this? Well, I the thing is, that. right? The thing is, if you want to be as smart as better, like, a cycle of something doesn't necessarily exist because it's just about like these are companies and they just make decisions and like some of them are good and bad but like there's no like it's not like they plan it you know so i don't think it's that like obviously yes it's in some way a cycle but it's also like a subjective cycle too because some people will like or dislike the games in between you know yeah yeah i don't think the sonic team the cycle is like referring to like all like the games but more so how we view sonic team working on them because like not that yeah. they're intentionally doing it but more of like i don't want to say the word but like incompetent you know like yeah they, no I they can't produce it you know they're yeah. trying it'll be best. usually yeah it'll it'll be the thing that like uh what's called that okay they have their new formula and then they make multiple of them and then like one or one of our the one of them is one or two of them are just like either like very controversial and like one is like really good or like one is bad you know i think that's like the big thing they go through you know and i, and I think that's why it's very scary and exciting to see what happens with uh with whatever it is because uh, it's like it, i remember in the wii u era right of like i remember so many people being like look they made sonic boom i'm like no they didn't they, no what they didn't develop sonic boom so it always drives me nuts when yeah, people bring that argument yeah, that was yeah big now red button. Yeah. i know yeah it was big red button and i'm like it's just like it's just these well, no, little things that happen like, on big, the side. Big Red Button it. did develop the game, but they actually, like, for Sonic Boom, that's a different story because Sega was, like, the yeah, main yeah. reason that that game flopped. Like, for they, sure. Yeah, they rushed They them. put the pressure on Big Red Button. They told him to put it on Wii U. Yeah. Like, there's an entire 50-minute documentary about, the, about, like, Sonic Boom's development, and yeah. I would highly recommend it. Oh, yeah. I think I remember seeing like, it. Yeah. It used to be called yeah, Sonic Synergy or something. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, you're right about that. Yeah. I feel like that Very game would have been like, real, like probably one of the best rated Sonic games if um if like all went well. Yeah, I, would, I don't know Man, about that. Like a, like a regular mm. four player kids like co op party game. It didn't seem like because. It, yeah, it felt like Sonic a licensed straight. game with Sonic characters. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Kind of literally stuff. had to tell them to add more speed, and then the final product didn't even have that much speed at all. So I don't know. Yeah. I mean, it wouldn't have been it wouldn't have been like a, a Sonic the Hedgehog no, it been no video game, but I feel like it would have still been a good game. Yeah, it would have been a good game, just not a good Sonic game, in my opinion. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. basically, forces then. <laughs> Shut. Horses. No, like Horses no. is still a Ezra. Sonic game. Like this would have been like more comparable well, I mean, yeah, to like Shrek 2. Sonic... <laughs> yeah. Listen, Jaden, of course it's a Sonic game. It's bad. <laughs> by Sonic oh. by Sonic standards, Sonic Forces is a bad Sonic game. But by game yeah. standards, I'd say it's a good game. Like, like when if I Forces played was through the like, game, was a franchise I, I was very game. happy. I'd be satisfied with it, but for a franchise that's been around for 30 years, it doesn't feel like they learned much from it. Yeah, that's what makes Forces so disappointing. Yeah. I feel like it's also, again, your perception. Like, if you're thinking of Forces as, in my perspective, which is like, I didn't wait years for it. I was just like, oh, cool. This game, I'll play it. <laughs> I was mostly excited for Mania, you know? So Forces was like the little of dessert. Of course. Yeah, that, that yeah. was the same thing. So me. Forces that was like a little yeah. dessert. So it was like, why not? And Honestly, so I couldn't be that disappointed. Like, we just got like the best Sonic game ever. Like, I couldn't be, be that disappointed. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. I'm gonna be honest though, like before like a lot of the before like a lot of the newer stuff came out, I was like more interested in forces than mania. Cause like, it was really? the new 3D Sonic game. Like of yeah, course I was true. excited for Mania, but just like Oh Infinite Lie, I, I was really the same. For, uh, Me too, I agree. Because like with the I new think... 3D Sonic game coming out, but like as more mania stuff kept kept coming out, well, I'm mm. like, this is gonna be great. I'm gonna buy this. Yeah. 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 Well I think I think cause Mania literally had like a perfect marketing cycle where just like it felt like every time there was a piece of news about mania it just felt like this is awesome this is awesome this is mm -hmm. awesome this is awesome yeah um, like he keeps getting whereas with, yeah exactly whereas with forces it was always like oh okay like this is cool but oh wait this seems off like oh okay they're adding the oc okay i mean maybe that'll be cool maybe it was a lot of like you know the ifs and ends yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, look, I rem I just I just remembered like you guys remember how people were actually saying who would win Mario Odyssey or Sonic Forces? Oh my <laughs> god. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> looking at that in hindsight, like it's just so it's like I get secondhand embarrassment looking at that in hindsight. Cuz like, there were people who genuinely said Forces will probably be better. Oh. Those oh people need god. to be like banned from Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> we need them out of here. Banned banned in general. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. All right, <laughs> next topic. <laughs> state of right. the franchise, as it is. Oh, oh, yeah. Everything except the, the games is good. Everything yeah. except the games are good. We'll, get on, to, we'll get on to that in the next topic, where we talk about multimedia versus oh. game-only franchise. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, that's a real juicy one. I'm looking forward to that one. But Ooh. the state of the franchise as a whole, what do you think about it so far? Uh, I, think, I think it's in a... I think it's it right now we're in a very sensitive point i'll say right yeah um definitely. especially for games right like i feel like with all the other media people are like we're we're thriving which we'll, again we'll get to but we're in a very sensitive point right now with the games we're like okay like people were very burned with again not not that it's its fault with sonic boot right and then a lot of people like you're it's very controversial with sonic lost world right and then you have sonic forces mm -hmm. So like right now we're at that point because you know how usually like there's like dips of up and downs of the 3D Sonics. Here it feels like there's been a like for the most for most people like a low, you know? Yeah. And it feels like people are like I've seen like I've I really feeling like they're at the tipping point of like what the hell is gonna happen with this franchise if this big new 3D game is not good, you know? So I feel like right now it's in a very sensitive spot. It's being Again, it's being carried like in a good way. Sonic's mind share is in a good space just because of like you know, like whether well, all the other multimedia stuff. But again, like then you have Sonic Colors Ultimate, which again, like even though the bugs really aren't that bad, especially now and like to the average person playing, there's just that mind share. Like oh wow, that was like just another buggy like thing. So it's like 
I just like right now, it's almost like tensions are super high with yeah. the state of, of the franchise because of the games. And I really think that, I think Sonic Team knows that like this next game, like the, I think that's why it's even taking this long is I think they really know they needed to at least be good because they can't deal with another one of these like, because this would be like a really bad streak almost. That's true. Very yes. well That's said. It does well yeah. said. Very well said. Mm. Yeah, like uh, as <laughs> as someone who uh, thinks that uh, ev like a bunch like most of the games post two thousand four, except for Colors of Generations, reign from mediocre to bad. I'm very pessimistic towards this franchise as a whole. I feel like with gener like like what uh, Fidel says, like uh, with mm. Colors and Gens, they had a high, and then like it's like uh, it's like cheat codes. It absolutely plummeted after Lost World. <laughs> Just like yeah, like, like uh, I'm in the minority here. I hate Lost World. Like like everything except for the soundtrack in that game, I do despise. And then like mm. Forces is just like literally the worst video game I've ever played. They like Mania. <laughs> Mania is like <laughs> I know you're laughing at that. Like everybody does, but like <laughs> Mania was just like just like I don't know. Like that was just the one thing that just like gave me hope for the franchise. Yeah, and that's then, that's like, a, does that for a lot of people. Mm -hmm. It was a shiny. But I think was, like, uh, for everyone. Yeah. Like, and we know that the problem is we know that studio is not making another. Ma I mean, right now we know they're yeah, hiring they're for they're like a 3D a, game they're making. Yeah, they're making their own yeah. game. Yeah, making now a, hopefully a &D game. hopefully Dimps can make something like Dimps for 2D. Oh. Dimps. We, we haven't heard from I Dimps in such a wow. Yeah, yeah, exactly. We well, that was Do we want rumor. Dimps to make another 3D game? I, I've heard, like, every time I mention Dimps in a video, the comments are like, Fuck Dimps! Like, <laughs> See, I, feel like, I feel like if they're... If, no, no, I feel like, I feel like if, if Dimps isn't tethered to... Uh, I feel like if Dimps isn't tethered to Sonic Boom, they can make a good 2D Sonic. Well, yeah. Dimps didn't do Sonic Boom. They didn't do like, Sonic Boom. The reason that no, people hate Dimps is because they made Sonic 4. And that's yeah. why. Oh, like, I actually didn't know that. <laughs> yeah, Dimps made Sonic Four. It's based. I thought they on did the like Rush and all of so, the game. Yeah, they did. Yeah, they did. They did. They did Rush. Oh, okay. Dimps, yeah. It's very stupid yeah. to hate, hate on Dimps just because of Sonic yeah, I think Four. Dimps, like, they did also, Advance. Um, they did well, no, Rush. Dimps, they did, did Lost World 3DS Adventure. as well. They did the Advance games, the Rush games, and then Generations and Lost World, and then they did Sonic Four. So like Sonic 4 was like one of the last projects that they did for yeah. Sonic and people like do not like Sonic 4. So yeah. that's like, yeah, people are obviously going to hate them. It's like how people, people hate Sonic Team with the burning passion, but then they forget they made gens, colors, and like all the classic games and adventure games. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think, but I think like Dimps, aside from Sonic 4, which I, I just think that was like a, a problem with the times of like, it was going to be a mobile game. So I think it was just d yeah. made under yeah. different circumstance. Yeah. Um, I really do think aside from that, they could, they could make like a dope, just modern 2D game. That's like rush styled on like, you know, consoles, which I think would be like super, super dope. And, uh, yeah, that's like really where we're at. Right. We're like, uh, and now, especially after mania sex, like mania, uh, released um sega knows like that they've said this multiple times obviously like, they really want to make sure they appeal especially to 2d and 3d fans so i really do think i think it's going to continue for now to like a verge off i really do think if like for some and i hope it's i hope sonic rangers is fantastic but i really I, I think if that game like doesn't do well they really just hit that emergency button and do adventure remakes because like that oh, yeah. i think that uh, is yeah. their emergency you know he knows button. that people want the adventure remakes of course like bro. he's actually addressed them yeah. it's the same thing with adventure 3 like it's like these are things that i think those are their emergency buttons of like <laughs> yeah. if everything goes to shit with the franchise and they need to salvage it they just remake those games and make adventure 3. Yeah. that's the thing can like, they do it properly yeah. though Mm, I feel like I, just think I they feel have to like if they know. were if they were to make adventure remakes, I feel like they would like like uh not hold anything back. They would get their A team yeah, and agree. their B team together, like work yeah. on all of it like all at once. And I, f I feel like Sonic Team could make something good because I know mm -hmm. I know Sonic Team is not still not like they're not the same as the '90s. But back in the '90s and even like the early 2000s, Sonic Team were considered like the like one of the best game developers in history like on the level of stuff like square enix and all that like higher than square probably mm -hmm. and like mm -hmm. it i know they're not the same people but if they can if they could like get all their teams together i feel like they can make something really good and like really uh properly remake the adventure games yeah. i feel like Ichika, i also think 
Yeah. People yeah. people talk like talk about Izuka a lot in a negative light, but I feel like he de genuinely does want to make something good. I feel like yeah, he genuinely course, wants yeah. to make something good. And like I feel like he does know what he's doing. And like the mandates, people blame Izuka on the mandates, but that's just because that way they can have a face to point to. Like the mandates are corporate. A lot of things that go into things are most likely corporate. So I feel like Izuka is I feel like I know what he's doing and if like if he were to be in charge of a remake and got all the A team and the B team together I feel like they can make something mm. really good. I think like like I said like I, I think with Rangers They will not give a shit if they have to delay it like five times to make sure Oh, oh it's no, good. yeah, like I, I feel like they've gotten I really think they're gonna forces take the did so bad uh, Lost World did mediocre like colors yeah. ultimate didn't do well either and that like that was rushed out the door and uh, That's not true. Like, it did I feel well. like at this point they will not care if you have to delay it, as long as it's like something good like maybe, I mean, maybe not. I don't know. Maybe not. I think the fan base is. I think they're. I think we're in a good spot, don't you? Like I think uh, Colors Ultimate what was okay. It was mid, but it was like literally shot out by a B tier team. It was. It wasn't awful. It's not. Go I wouldn't go that far. I, no, it's not awful at all. I've literally played that game multiple it's not times. Awful. It's fine. It's still Sonic Colors. It's just I mid. Really like Sonic it's just Colors. mid. If you like but, uh, in terms of, things, of being a remaster. It's awful. Like yes, it's playable, but in terms of the oh, use the word, then like no, 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 man. Like to I don't use awful. Uh, it awful. was mid. No, awful's yeah, awful's a way harsh. Like for me, like as like, and again, I I really do think that weekend where people were finding shit, it was like stretching. And why have we never seen any of that past that? Like it's like for the most part, like I think the thing about it is it's just it's basic. It's a basic remaster. Like it does the bare minimum of a remaster, which is. Hey, here's HD. Here's uh, some, you know, extra skins and peace out. Like it's like it's a very just basic. I think awful is like a way. Awful just makes mm. it sound like it's just a terrible thing in general. Yeah, like it's not terrible well, it's not in terms general. of gameplay it's or anything. Not it's a just like thing in general. It's, it's yeah. like yeah. like as a game dev and some animator yeah. stuff like that. When I see like little things where like you know the animations are glitching because they didn't port it right. Sonic's eyes not moving because they didn't oh, add in the UV no animations. Passion. Yeah, how do people know? Okay, I want to talk about how do people do, dude. This was the first game, and this is right. Like again, obviously, like people, there's people that are smart and they notice things. I'm like, I, you could have given me a million dollars before anyone mentioned this. I'd have never been able to tell you if Sonic eyes move or not. Like I, 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 I <laughs> you didn't how the notice fuck the eyes look weird. They looked like hard. Oh, how do you notice like that you are literally paper. running your ass off the entire level and the camera well, behind scenes. you? In do you not see in the trailer him. like he <laughs> blinks in the trailer? But the cutscenes are just the old cutscenes. Are they? The eyes oh, texture looks yeah. so fucking weird. In no, 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 no. The, no, the, no, no, the, no, the, the cutscenes are literally just. They literally just run it through an AI upscaler. Why do you think it looks yeah. so like when when you go to it the looks so looks weird? So Why do it their eyes gross. look so weird? It looks yeah, that's just how it used yeah. to look. What? By the way, guys, <laughs> watching this, that. be sure to check out my review of Sonic Colors Ultimate. It's been posted already before this video. Link to that nice. will be in the corner of the screen. Oh, I was going to say. Uh, okay. Oh yeah, um, about that. When I mentioned Sonic Colors Ultimate, I was trying to say when we were in a good place that like no one's mentioned it, but like Origins is coming out like before april next year that's pretty soon like mm. i don't know i think oh yeah you're right I, mm. like i think true. and then we're also getting rangers and the movie and prime and yeah there's a lot whatever yeah, the socials like put out and all these collabs My like granted about to they had a minecraft collab <laughs> like when nintendo yeah. did that it was a huge deal and then like we had an entire like you're running around in third person it's like a whole ass game and like no I've one been really a big fan no of one really the collabs. Cares. <laughs> No one yeah, I think I think uh, we're due. I, I said this on Twitter. Like we're definitely due for a uh, for a Sonic Central two soon. Like I feel like we're like a month or two away from one because there's so I much they like, can talk about. I de definitely feel like the Sonic Central was a placeholder for what they were gonna do at South by Southwest uh, for this year. I don't think so. Too. I'm I, with Fidel. They said no, it was the first. I feel like many. it went good enough yeah, for them to do the another first. one. Well, no, they didn't yeah, say they they they'll do another. They said yeah. they currently have no plans, but they're definitely thinking about it. That's what they. That's I'm can they swear they said this. Is I like know the they definitely more to come down the line. Said, I can yeah, swear they sure. said we plan to do more of these down the line. Yeah. I could swear they said that. Uh, I don't think they did. X pool speaking think, matter of factly. <laughs> <laughs> I just think also like Actually, like why would you make this whole branded event thing if it's not something that would reoccur? To yeah. be fair, their branding was like a little like, uh, like that logo was like, <laughs> no, no, the logo, hey whatever. bud, throw this together in Photoshop in 20 minutes. We got to get the show on. Like, it was a little just like text. 
So yeah, but what I mean is like for so like Ooh. the branding of Sonic Center, I feel like you wouldn't. It's like it's like any no company has done like one conference with that like a name they made for and just never did it again. There's no way we're not gonna get another. But it's like remember the Sonic Center was like 12 minutes. It's not like it has to be this crazy thing they spend hours at. Like the next one could be literally 10 minutes, and all it is yeah. is a trailer for Origins, a trailer for Rangers. Maybe if they have again, like I said, Dims or someone making a 2D game, and then you show like the 50 collabs, it, it, they they would show like a, a fucking Sonic themed cup if they had one in the collabs, and they'd do like a million <laughs> oh, mobile yeah. collabs. The <laughs> King the Eyes, mug, King exactly. Eyes. Yeah, the Warehog yeah. I I agree. They have a ton of stuff. I I never even thought about that, Fidel. But like. Yeah, mm. it's got to be like any time now, right? Like, there's so yeah. much stuff building up, and there's Absolutely. a lot of collabs they haven't even talked about that, like we've been hearing about in news and stuff recently. Mm. Yeah, wasn't there a Monster Hunter heads. one coming? Yeah, the Monster. Yeah, Hunter that's one of them. Yeah, I remember yeah. seeing that. Yeah, so they have to do some type of thing soon. I'm intrigued. How are they even yeah. gonna pull that off? Uh, they bring back Whoa, the Sonic Hunter? cap from Monster Hunter Generations. <laughs> oh I feel like they they're gonna say... do something similar to what they did with Mega Man, where they just blatantly added Rush in there. Wait, what did they do? Oh, yeah, yeah. Did, what did they do to add Rush? They, they just straight up put Rush in there. Like, I haven't played Monster Hunter, so I can't tell yeah, what it yeah. is, but well, you just literally so, have yeah, a Rush in there as one of your little so creatures the, or the something. Game, so in Monster Hunter Rise, you have like a wolf. So that's why they did like Rush. They did obviously like Amaterasu from Okami. So they they did like they just skinned the the wolf that follows you around as like just pet like Hold characters. Up, hear me out. Uh, yeah. yeah. Monster Hunter uh -huh. Rise teams up with Channel Pop. <laughs> <laughs> okay, hear me out. Hear me Pulse out. Agree. Okay, <laughs> Monster Hunter Rise, right? But the dog is replaced with a raccoon. Hmm. hmm. No. Hmm. Disagree. No, I guess I can see that working. I don't know. Could That'd be based. Be I prefer Spongebob. Like, Spongebob. Oh, no, Spongebob. No, no, no. We get Spongebob. We get Spongebob. Spongebob? With legs. Let's go. <laughs> Gary with legs. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah, no, yes. listen. All right. So, listen to this. So, Sonic in the Archie comics had a dog named Mutsky. We get Mutsky in Monster Hunter Rise. Oh, I hate Mutsky. No. Oh, no. no. <laughs> like, he was a literal dog, and then they turned him into, like, a Mobian. That was so No, weird. no, no, Ew. not Mobian Mutsky, dog Mutsky. Like, the dog. The, what's the dog oh, doing? Dog Wait, Mutsky. what is this lore you're talking about? They took a dog and turned him into a Mobian? What the yeah, fuck? Yeah, Archie <laughs> Comics was <laughs> weird, my guy. Super Genesis wave, because the Super Genesis wave is what, like, made, uh, like, everything flipped, and that's how the reboot happened, and in the reboot, uh, Mutsky is a Mobian. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. The, the, the reboot. Uh, I'm, I don't want to get sidetracked, but the Archie reboot's pretty cool. Uh, anyway. Okay, I think it's time for the topic that everyone's been waiting for: multimedia versus game only franchise. Multimedia. Yeah, I'd say multimedia. Like, sure, it has its roots in gaming that it'll always have, but by definition, it's literally just multimedia. Mm -hmm. I feel like, wait, are we saying which, are we saying like, wh are we saying which is better for the franchise or like, oh. which, yeah. or which one would you prefer which? basically? Mm. Yeah, just yeah, discuss. I, yeah, I feel like, uh, I think there's certain franchises where it works and certain franchises where like, it, it can hurt it because like, it's like, for example, when you see like multimedia franchises where like, why aren't the games or one thing good as the other, it, it can be like a little annoying to certain fans of it because you're just like, I care about this thing. And they're pouring more into this other thing, you know? Yeah. So, like, let's yeah. say, like I said, it, it's like if you don't give a shit about, like, the theme parks and, like, the the merch and all that stuff. And, like, you only care about games. Um, I think in that way I get it. But, like, the the benefit of multimedia is, one, yeah, you get to bra they get to, the companies get to branch out. And they get to make more money, which ultimately leads to better product. Usually, not not that doesn't that's not the case for every company, but usually that's that's how it works, right? They branch out, you get more of what you like in different facets, and it like it can almost like help save the brand of something else. You know, like you make oh shit, like uh, this movie was ass. Oh shit, but this show was amazing. You know, like I feel like Star Wars faces this problem, right? Where it's like okay. This show is amazing. This movie isn't. Oh, this comic is amazing. This game is okay. Oh, but this this uh, this other thing is amazing. So it's like I feel like with with multimedia, you have a you get a better job. I mean, that's why Sonic is still as big as it is. It's not just because of the games. The games sell a few million right every time. Um, but like, it's really the it's the movies and media and the everything else that really pushes it a lot. 
Yeah, I feel like multimedia is healthy because like it gives them a chance to experiment in different places that they aren't sure about for the games yet. Very true, very true. What do you think about Sonic Prime? It's not on here, but I'm just curious about your guys' thoughts. Yeah, let's talk about Sonic Prime. I'm, I'm fairly optimistic about it. Like, from from the people I've seen who are going to work on it, the way they're talking about it, I can just tell they're really passionate about it. Did you see there's that actually a bit to talk about. Up? Yeah, that's what I was gonna say with the concept yeah. art. There's there's a bit to talk mm -hmm. about. Like we we know yeah. We, yeah. we know yeah. a little the bit. Concept little art, bit, you know? and not not just that, but like even uh, I'll never forget when it was like what was it? The description of the show was like Sonic goes through a journey of like yeah, discovery discovering. And... Yeah, dude, I saw that. I read it. I read it. <laughs> yeah. It was crazy. To my friends at school, and we were all laughing at it. We thought that was like so over the yeah. top. For like Sonic the Hedgehog. Exactly. Which, I, but I like that. It's, I was, it's, I was, yeah. it's shocking it's like, in a funny it's, way of it's like, cool. yeah. yeah. But like, it sounds funny, but it's gonna be yeah. cool. Yeah, I think that I think what's gonna be cool about it is I think like, w with Sonic Boom, you had a show that was much more you know slapstick, right. like very much like just this is general like funny kid stuff, and adults can love it too. But I feel like with this one, they want to do something more in the sense of like it's a show where like. There, there are clear moments of like, you know, winning and losing between characters and like winning, winning, very, winning, <laughs> very, very dope, very dope anime. I feel like there's gonna be cool animation because like, I've never associated Sonic Boom with like good fights at, at all. You know, I yeah. feel like this will actually have a focus on like, you know, cool animated moments of the speed and all that. Um, so I think it's gonna be dope. I think it's gonna be a good one. Yeah. Uh, what do you think about the shoes? Oh, though? the shoes! I was about to bring up the shoes. Sonic has the, the Jordan. Jordan. The Jordan. Let's go. Beep, beep, beep. I love the shoes. I like. I, like I unironically love yeah, the shoes. Great. Listen, <laughs> yeah, I, I, cool. my yeah, main they problem. They look cool, with the shoes but I'm I'm gonna hate we, drawing we them. We have rigs of the <laughs> shoes available, but the only game it's modded into is Forces. I do not see it in, in uh, colors. I don't see it in. Gen. <laughs> oh God. Where is it? Oh, that's because they chose the best one. That's why. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course. Stop, Jaden. Stop. Please stop. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like even now, uh, it's called. They got the. Uh, I think the designs on the. I'm looking at here. Like, they got the designers from Crash Four and Spyro Reignited they did? to design like stuff. Yeah. So I think oh, like the, the way art, characters are gonna like, look. Uh, the shoes themselves and, the, and like all the designs. I'm not sure, it just says over the course of March 20th, Betty Kuang and Nicholas Cole from Crash 4 and Spyro Green Knights revealed themselves to have been designers for the oh. series. So, oh, that, oh, that means it, that means it's going to so be I, great, man. I have, yeah, it's going to look I really nice. So I have gained so much really optimism so. for Sonic Prime now. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, no, it says, yeah, journey of self-discovery and redemption. I don't, like, the redemption thing is oh. what always threw me off of, like, what, like, did he just do something wrong? We're going to see him friends? do something, like, like episode <laughs> one, he's going to do something really fucked up. And yeah, we're going to have to, like, like, learn to forgive Sonic. <laughs> learn to forgive gonna He's going to kill Amy. <laughs> I'm going to predict that he's the reason this multiverse is created. Oh, yeah, yeah, I think so, too. Yeah. I think so, too. Probably true. It's that gonna be something like that. Probably we're like the first episode something. of the right fight. So, you know how the show is going to be made in Canada, right? Right? Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. this, That's me. This, so, if we see Sonic go to the store to grab some milk, will he get it in a carton or in a bag? Shut up. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> leave, us, leave us alone. <laughs> oh, Fidel. Well, well, is that that's like not that's real though, right? That's like a joke, right? Why do you get your milk no, in a bag? No, it is real. It is. What's real. the point wait, of what? I. Yeah, it is. Wait, real. wait, wait. Explain this to me. I've never. I, I just heard this is like a passing by joke. This is a yes, real thing. Uh, so like, in Canada, yes, yes, is it yes, hard? Is the bag oh hard? Days. No, is no, it like no. a bag it's, of it's sand? Just, oh God. No, it's just. It's literally just bags with milk in it. Again, I buy the the carton. I don't understand. I'm, like, I'm oh, imagining oh, like a goldfish bag, a picture, like a pile of goldfish bags think, in the fridge. Yeah, that's what I mean. It's kind of like it's very stupid. I I never got the concept. Like my grandma used to get them, and I think it's just a way to have like. I don't know. I think it's just a way to have like a bunch of milk, you know, because like they come in bags like this, right? Uh, so like you, they would have like three that's stacks. That's how it comes in. Yeah, this, I, I thought it was like this. stuff this they is... have an Olive Garden. No, this ain't good. No, no, no. But like, okay, here's your. Yeah, here, that's the exact like, picture I googled. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, exactly. That's literally what it is, basically. That's weird. I I kind of rock with it. It feels very European. 
I kind of like it. Yeah, like. Oh no, like, no, that is not. Again, it's not. Let me show you it's how. It's not my. Milk it, appears in your although it sounds really pain. dumb. The more I think about it, I'm like, how easy it's is really, this to puncture? Like this sounds like yes. I throw this in the back. This is has what ever happened. Like, like, have you ever like come fuck? home and you have like a puddle of milk in the back of your car? Does this that is milk in the UK? No. Like, but I. But again, I hate this thing. Yeah, I fucked it up. Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah. Oh, so what happens? You have milk everywhere. Yeah, like Sounds it'll be like because oh, obviously I used to have it because like you know you're a kid. Right? I'm like a kid, and I remember like trying to open one by myself. I, I I use my mouth to open it. So when I pour it in, it's like I obviously ripped it too much and extra holes in there. And I'm like, this sucks. Just give me a carton of milk like a normal person. Oh, this doesn't make sense. <laughs> you rip it open. The more I'm thinking about this, I'm like, I know. Oh, this I can't save Canada. And the bags also like are just just as bad as pollution is like. The box exactly. That's no what I'm sense. It's not like yeah, I don't know. The whole thing is an odd concept. That being said, though, that is a shitload of milk. That is a lot of <laughs> shit. <laughs> Who drinks that much? Hey man, grandma. I don't grandma, know what you guys are doing <laughs> in Canada, bro. Like, you guys. <laughs> I, mean, I yeah, want to get a large bag anyway awesome. because I milk expires pretty quickly. Um. So I don't know, bro. <laughs> Fidel, we gotta get you out of there. We gotta okay, save you. Please Fidel, save me. Join please us save me. to America. <laughs> I w I'd love to. Thank you. <laughs> All right, guys, that's it for this episode. Thank you guys Ooh. for being here. Be sure to follow these guys and subscribe to their channels. You know the vibes. Fidel, LJ, Sonic Show, and Expo. That's it, everybody. Good night. Woo! I want to add one thing, it's just to LJ quickly. LJ, yeah, you should mod um, Scratch and Melody, but replace the clown with Fidel. <laughs> <laughs> yes, dude. Imagine if I can, I mean, if I, I mean, can, it's the perfect, it's the perfect role. If I can, I he's can't, cool with that. it. There will, I will be completely down with adding a cheat code. Where Fidel is in oh there Oh my somehow. god. Oh, <laughs> please, yes. That would be perfect. Oh, you know what? No, 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 no. Listen, all right. So this is supposed to be a PC game, right, LJ? Yeah. Yeah. So you just like, you, all you have to do is just press L 10 times and you just unlock Fidel. <laughs> <laughs> That's <perfect>. <laughs> <laughs> Very true. True, true, true.